It's the AR-15 pistol that I built. And I got a few changes that I made to it since the last video that I done on it. But uh, it has a uh, tiring design, a uh, hand stop. It's called a uh, tiring design halo hand stop. Uh, kind of look like a vertical grip, but it's not. So you can put this on y'all pistols and have sort of a vertical grip look and uh y'all y'all will be fine nobody should mess with y'all my gun is safe to check i don't have nothing in it so just for y'all information i know a lot of people be all uh, ain't about doing that shit, but i know my gun not it's not loaded uh, basically when you shoot it uh, I normally shoot it like this. Uh, you can shoot it like that. Three fingers if you want. If your finger's small. Or you could just kind of cover it with your fingers at the bottom like that. You can put it in the front. With this particular gun, I wouldn't recommend that because uh, it gets hot and flash from this um, muzzle is kind of big. So I wouldn't do that. Or you can just put it like that. I mean, it's whatever way you want to, to, uh, to hold it. Uh, nickel boron, bow carrier group. Uh, with the Echo 2, you can put that in there. Uh, I know the Echo 1, you, got, you had to use uh, one of their custom um, bow carry groups. But with the Echo 2, you can use any bow carry group. Um, I went with the Vism. This is a carrying handle. And green dot sight with laser on top uh it's a pretty i like this i just like the look of it i you know you can put it on and both of them will come on there laser and the green dot or if you just want the green dot on there uh, they got like five settings, I don't know, four or five settings for the brightness. Uh, red and green dot. You could turn just the laser on if you want. Or you could turn just the green dot on and turn the laser off. So, but, uh. No, uh, some people kind of skeptic about the uh, Vism um, parts and stuff. They think it's cheap. Uh, this particular one, I like it. Uh, I, I got good reviews on it, so that's why I went with it. It's pretty. It's different looking. And I think it makes the. Uh, I think it makes it look pretty, pretty damn good. Oh, uh, what I'm gonna say is when I did, I don't know if it's my, it was my just my particular uh, magazine release, but I had problems with the extended magazine release. Uh, I had a red when it was custom red extended magazine release and it would not work with uh the short fire mags and it wouldn't work with the ets mags so i just took it off and put the regular one back on and i have no problems with it going in 
I'll be shooting this with the echo trigger. 100 round mag. I don't have no problems with that. Uh, with this magazine, I did have problems at first. Uh, loading the bullets in here. And what was happening is when I was putting it in, it would get stuck like that. And I would have to beat it on something in order for it to, for the spring to pop back up. But uh, what I ended up doing was I put some WD-40, sprayed a little bit in that, and then kind of shook it up. And uh, I don't have no problems with it now. You know. But, uh, that's pretty much it. That's the only... Uh, things that I really change. Uh, I changed the flash on the hider or the muzzle brake. This is a flash enhancer. Uh, it's the Causton uh, Nitro uh, Causton Nitro uh, flash enhancer. I did change that. Uh, it's a tire design mod grip and of course uh, any pistol that I get, I probably put a SB PD, uh, SB Tactical PDW brace on it. I, these things look good and they feel good. Better, uh, in my opinion, it's better than a shockwave. So uh, that's that's it. What I'm gonna do is I'll uh, I'll do one shot. Semi, I do a few shots, semi-automatic, and then I'll switch it to uh to echo or on here undead mode. And I'll switch it to that and do the rest of the video in echo. Just show you how it runs. I'll try to, uh, this is a 42 round mag. I think it's 42 rounds. All 40. And this is 100. I'll run this one. Uh, I got a 50 round drum that I'll run. And I'll run just the regular 30 round P mags. Let y'all see how that works. That's it.